Hi, my name is Yom Dangwal and welcome to the lecture number two of computational physics. So in this particular presentation, we are going to discuss about the compilation versus interpretation. So let's begin with what exactly is compiler and what exactly is interpreter? How does the compiler works and how does interpreter works? In the previous video, I have discussed about the history of Python the advantages of python the applications of python and the disadvantages of python in the lecture number one or the previous video i have already discussed a short introduction of the compiler and interpreter but in this particular video we will be going to deal with the interpreter and compiler in much more detail so let's begin what is compiler what exactly is a compiler compiler is that high level language processor that converts the high level program into machine language but its conversion math manner is that it takes the entire high level language program in one go and reports all the error of the program along with the line numbers it means that when a user writes a code in a high level language such as java and wants it to execute a specific compiler which is designed for java is used before it will be executed the compiler basically it scans the entire program first and then translates into machine code which will be executed by the program processor and the corresponding tasks will be performed so this is a general figure which is a basic outline of the compilation process here the program written in high level language is known as source program or you can uh, see here it, it is written as a source code then the converted one is the object program and the converted one is called object program so after compilation once the target code is ready Compiler is no longer required because compiler converts the source code into executable code in one go. So this is the compiler working process as I have already discussed that the uh, compiler takes the program written in high level language which is also known as a source file or a source program then the pile, compiler converts it into object file and this is the executable program after a runtime library. So again, the compilation after the compilation of the program, the target code is ready. Compiler is no longer required because compiler converts the source code into executable code in one. Go. So this is what exactly is the working process of a compiler. So now you will better uh, able to understand the compiler so i have written here a set of codes a series of a number of codes then after compiler here you can see that the computer is able to understand by using machine language or i would say binary language in the form of zero and one bits so here is a program code that runs hello world okay so the most simple the program is hello world so hello world and if you create any error in code then out not found or get error message so this is the compiler code here all the entire high level program is executed or converted in one go and if there is any error it reports all the error of the program along with the line numbers next what is interpreter interpreter is that language processor that converts high level language program into machine language by converting and executing it line by line each time when interpreter gets a high level language to be executed it converts the code into an intermediate code before converting into actual machine code so each part of the code is interpreted and then executed separately in a sequence and if any error is found in any part of the code it will stop the interpretation of the code without translating the next set of codes it means that if there is any error in any line 
of the program it reports it at the same time as you press enter and the program execution cannot resume until the error is rectified okay so interpreter must always be present in the memory every time the program is executed as every time the program is run it is first interpreted and then executed so interpreter is very much useful as it reports the error at the same time and as we are going we are discussing the computational physics using python programming language and i have already discussed that python is a interpreted language it is not a compiler language it is can be considered as a semi compiler not as a fully compiled one so this was one of the disadvantage of python as it is not the fastest language but interpreted language so the fault error debugging interpreter is very much useful at it as it reports the error at the same time so the figure here outlines the basic working of the interpreter that shows that there is a source code and in interpretation interpreter is always required to interpret and convert the source code as it processes the code line by line so here is a code for interpreter as uh, this is code written in python so this is a hello world so i would say print raw input as a hello so here comes hello by after pressing enter key so this is line by line execution of a code so this is the basic functionality of interpreter basically in compiler there would be an entire program or i would say in a more simpler world कि पैराग्राफ के फॉर्मेट में होता है बट इन इंटरप्रेटर नो पैराग्राफ बट ओनली अ सिंगल लाइन बाय लाइन एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम सो लेट अस नाउ डिस्कस आर मेन टॉपिक फॉर विच दिस लेक्चर इज टू बी स्कड्यूल्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंपाइलर एंड इंटरप्रेटर हाउ कंपाइलर एंड इंटरप्रेटर आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर इफ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कंपाइलर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन लैंग्वेज ट्रांसलेशन लिंकिंग लोडिंग मॉडल what exactly it means first it is a language translator which links and which also load the model for others but interpreter is based upon the interpretation method which processes the code line by line second compiler generate a target output program as an output which can be run independently from the source program which i have already discussed but in the interpreter interpreter do not generate any output program they evaluate only the source program at time for the execution third program execution is separate from compilation and performed only after the entire output program is produced program execution is a part of the interpretation and is performed on a statement by statement basis or i would say in a very simple language that line by line basis fourth target program execute independently and doesn't need the presence of compiler in the memory but as i have already discussed in the case of interpreter interpreter it must be exist in the memory during interpretation interpreter must always be present in the memory every time the program is executed as every time the program is run it is first interpreted and then executed I hope that you understood the fourth point as well. Moving forward, fifth point: compiler do not generate any output program if any is occurred. But in the case of interpreter, it can evaluate and execute program statement until an error is found. Compiler need recompilation for generating output program in target language after each modification in the source program. But interpreter as a in contrast to the compiler is independent of the program modification issues as it processes the source code each time during execution compiler is suitable for production environment whereas involter is suitable for program development environment it is very much comfortable for the program development environment how to develop the program compiler is bounded to a specific target machine and cannot be ported it is not portable at all 
बट इंटरप्रेटर कैन बी मेड पॉलिटेबल बाय केयरफुली कन्वर्टिंग द कोड इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज एज इट इज वन ऑफ द सैलियंट फीचर ऑफ पाइथन दैट पाइथन स्पोर्ट्स द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ एन इंटरप्रेटर एंड इन इंटरप्रेटर द कोड कैन बी मेड पोलटेबल बाई केयरफुली कॉपिंग दैम इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज नेक्स्ट सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज दट यूज द कंपाइलेशन मॉडल आर सी सी प्लस प्लस बट इंटरप्रेटर सम ऑफ द लैंग्वेजेस विच यूज द इंटरप्रेटर टू कन्वर्ट the high level language program into machine language by converting it line by line and executing it line by line as well are visual basic lisp matlab and python python is one of the most demanding programming language nowadays so we are using python to understand the computational physics to understand the solutions of the complex problems of the beauty of physics so python has evolved into a very powerful complete and useful language over these years basically python is basically what an interactive interpreted language with very simple syntax it is making simple syntax by the technique of dynamic typing which i have discussed in the lecture number 1 what exactly was dynamic typing that it takes less time to develop the programs or i would say it takes typically 3 or 5 times shorter than the programs written in java or c++ as i would already discussed that python is a object oriented programming language which supports the functionality of interpreter in which it executes or it compiles or i would say it convert and execute the code line by line what kind of code the code written in python programming language which converts a high level language into machine language or most probably i would say that it is a binary language in the form of 0 and 1 so i hope that in this particular lecture you must have understood the concept of compilation versus interpretation and the use of interpreter in python or the how python and interpreter are working simultaneously basically python is a interpreted language which takes code line by line it runs it converts and executes the code line by line which i will be going to explain in the next lecture but after installing the python and making a presentation about how to work or how to deal in python how to install first of all python and what are the multiple python distributories or distributions available today so that's all for today's lecture i hope that you must have understood the concept of compilation interpreter interpreter as well thanks a lot for watching the video